IET NCERT presents audiobook Introductory Microeconomics page 33 2 Production and Costs module 2.1 Technology of Production Rationale Production is based on the principle of optimizing output from the available resources Profit is generated when goods and services are produced and sold in the market. How do firms decide how much to produce and what combination of factors to use for production? Key concepts Production technique Factors of production Production function Isoquant Isoquant map 2.1.1 Production Production involves the use of various inputs to produce output. The process can be simply stated as in the chart given here. Here we have a diagram with two boxes. The box in the left side represents input. The box in the right side represents output. There is an arrow pointing in the right direction which connects these two boxes. Above the arrow, there is written production process. An input or a factor of production is used to produce an output. For example, the factors land, labor and machines are put to work by an entrepreneur, also a factor of production, to produce a carpet, that is, the output for selling it in the market. A particular combination in which factors are combined to produce a certain quantity of output is called a technique of production. Further, a technique that uses more units of capital and less units of labor is known as a capital intensive technique. For example, in a factory manufacturing soft drinks, there are many types of machineries which are operated by a few laborers. A technique that uses more units of labor and less units of capital is known as a labor-intensive technique. For example, many farmers are put to work on a piece of land with a few machineries like tube well and tractor. 2.1.2 Production Function Any particular combination of inputs if used in the best possible way, would be able to produce some maximum amount of output. The relationship that determines the maximum amount of output that can be obtained from a given amount of input is called production function. This function may be expressed as small q equals small f open bracket x1 comma x2 close bracket. Here, small q is the maximum amount of output produced and x1, x2 within brackets is a particular combination of factors having x1 amount of factor 1 and x2 amount of factor 2 in respective units. Page 34 Here, small q is also known as the total product or total return of all the inputs and is denoted by capital TP. A specific production function represents a particular combination of production technology. This function indicates technically effective ways to produce output by using different combination of inputs. Let us understand with an example of production of carpets done by two factories. In factory A, 10 workers and one machine are needed to produce one unit of carpet, while in factory B, 10 workers and 2 machines are needed to produce the same. As evident, factory B is less efficient as it uses more number of machines but the same number of labourers as also used in factory A to produce a single unit of carpet. 2.1.3 Isoquant The word isoquant is formed by combining two words, iso meaning equal and quant meaning output. Thus, an isoquant represents all the combinations of factors of production that are used to give a specific quantity of output. 
figure 2.1 displays an isoquant which represents Q1 is equal to 12. This includes all the combinations of inputs that are marked by points A, B, C, D and are used to produce an output of 12 units. The point A, 2,6 indicates the combination of labour and capital where 2 units of capital and 6 units of labour are employed to produce 12 units of output. Similarly, points B, C and D represent different combinations of labour and capital that produce 12 units of output. Figure 2.1 Isoquant Here we have a graph with two axes. The x-axis represents capital. The y-axis represents labour. Both the axes have been divided into seven equal parts. Here we have a negatively sloped curve. Point A on the hyperbola represents two units of capital and six units of labour. Point B represents three units of capital and four units of labour. Point C represents four units of capital and three units of labour. Point D represents six units of capital and two units of labour. This isoquant represents Q1 is equal to 12. The shape of an isoquant could be either linear or non-linear. The isoquant Q1 is equal to 12 is negatively sloped, which means that if we increase the use of any one factor, then we must decrease the use of the other factor in order to produce the same level of output. Page 35 In other words, we have to substitute one factor for the other if we wish to stay along the same isoquant, that is, produce same level of output. Hence, an isoquant slopes downwards from left to right. Figure 2.2 Isoquant Map Here we have a graph with two axes. X-axis represents factor 1. Y-axis represents factor 2. Both the axes have been divided into 8 equal parts. In this graph, we have 4 downward sloping curves representing isoquants. The innermost curve represents the isoquant Q1 is equal to 12. On this curve, we have the point A, which represents 2 units of factor 1 and 6 units of factor 2. There is also point B, which represents 3 units of factor 1 and 4 units of factor 2. Then there is point C, which represents 4 units of factor 1 and 3 units of factor 2. Lastly, there is point D on this curve, which represents 6 units of factor 1 and 2 units of factor 2. Lastly, there is the point D, which represents 6 units of factor 1 and 2 units of factor 2. The second curve represents the isoquant Q2 is equal to 18. On this curve, we have the point E, which represents 3 units of factor 1 and 6 units of factor 2. There is also point F on this curve, which represents 6 units of factor 1 and 3 units of factor 2. The third curve represents the isoquant Q3 is equal to 30. Then, there's another curve here which represents the isoquant Q4 is equal to 48. On this curve, we have the point G which represents 6 units of factor 1 and 8 units of factor 2. There's also point H on this curve which represents 8 units of factor 1 and 6 units of factor 2. A higher isoquant indicates production of higher output. The isoquant lines do not intersect each other. Each isoquant indicates production of different output level. As given in figure 2.2, .2, 
various isoquant curves for different output levels are shown together. Such a family of isoquants is known as an isoquant map. Test your understanding. 1. Suppose that the production of shirts requires both workers and machinery. What happens to the production if all the workers go on a strike? Hint, can machines produce without workers? You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana Sound Recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India Music